So in preparation for our little vacation, uh, Iki had to uh, jump out at the last minute because he had to. He got involved in a top secret mission called moving out. So <laughs> to take his place, we have Jordan on board now. Hello. So Jordy, welcome to Animaniacs, the the, the board game starring Namco Superstars for whatever reason. I was gonna say, what is up with that? So this is. Um... Oh my God, Heihachi looks so small. I yeah. know it's kind of adorable. So what's happened? So to catch up, hip speed, shake he does. So to catch up to <laughs> be real quick, what's happening here is that we believe they were supposed to make an anime and the export game, couldn't get a sponsor, couldn't get a producer. Then they then Namco hit them up and said, "Hey, we'll produce this game, but only if you remove any of the Animaniacs characters because we don't want to pay Warner Brothers licensing." And we're like, "Well, what characters are we gonna put into this?" And Namco said, "I have an idea." <laughs> allow, allow us to introduce ourselves. <laughs> but yeah, I, it should go without saying, folks. This is pure conjecture on our part. For all I know, this was literally what they've had, like the idea they've had since the get-go. They just figured, like, their inspiration for their board game would just come from any bit of Warner Brothers media from the 90s. Yeah. Um, I, I know you want to do the Smash Brothers thing, Namco, but I don't think this is how you do it. Yeah, seriously. I mean, granted, I can. I mean, I'm always, I'm always down for those little bits of like fourth wall things where like the characters from these video games are actually actors, and well, they're just, they're just contracted to do whatever they feel like, whatever they feel like, or you know, they're just bored for whatever reason. You know, kind of like Mario Party or Mario Kart. Yeah. Because you know damn well if, the, if like if the, the events of the Mario games were true, that Bowser would not be nearly as friendly as yeah. he tends to seem. Oh, so jeez, we both quick, lost. Um, so real quick, uh, James is probably Miss Pac-Man. Obviously, is Logan still Hayachi? No, I'm the I'm the dude with the afro. Oh, okay. Yeah, he decided to, he decided to be the. Um... Look at the robotic <laughs> walk. <laughs> I know, right? Oh yeah, I guess we should clarify the way this works, Jordy. Is it's a big race to the finish line of this board, kind of like the game of life, and okay. uh, depending on how <clears throat> excuse me, Don't depending, on, depending on nuts, I lose half my tokens. Depending on how well you do in the mini games depends on how far you move along the board. Oh, there he goes. He <laughs> Look at that coming. strut. And. Uh, Revenge. The tokens can only be used to really like buy yourself a very quick one-time item and or gamble because the whole purpose of this entire game is you're trying to earn tickets that can be used to exchange for new mini games. Oh boy, here we go for, again. Another exciting episode of Astroth and the Monkey. Yeah, cuz that's that that's that's uh, that's a caliber himself there. I was gonna say, is that, is that Astroth from Soul Calibur? Uh, oh my god! Yeah, and he's getting flattened by a monkey, and you're like, why? With the Namco. I didn't it's know they were named by. Ma I didn't know they were made by Namco. Honestly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Soul Calibur is a Namco property, and just again, I liked. I just want to stress how much this clashes so hard with this source material. Yes. This is so weird. It's like it's like if you put the Mario characters in I don't know Dark Knight oh. or something. Yeah, oh, it's, it's, it's one of those things where it's like it definitely has potential for humor if done right, and I feel like they did it right for the first two minutes, but then lost track right afterwards. I bet you, uh, I, track. I, be, I bet you all the other, I bet you all mm -hmm. the other dudes in Soul Calibur give Astaroth a lot of grief because he was in this like, <laughs> and then he and then he gets back at them by stealing their souls or whatever. Yeah, he's sense. like, oh, Soul Edge is looking heavy there, Astareth. Maybe you want Pac-Man to help you with it? That was one at a time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just making That's sure fun. I don't ruin my boots. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, it's just a very long game. Bear in mind, we're playing on a short board, and... Yeah. Honestly, Jordy, like, just picture it now. Like, imagine any other Soul Calibur or Tekken character that that would be put in this schlock fest. Nightmare. I'm already imagining it right now. Like, Nightmare. Like, Tira in this game. <laughs> yes, Tira. I can see Tira wasn't conceived at this point in time, but still. Oh, I Ivy. Tira, oh, my God, I just, Ivy. I, just imagine I was about to say Ivy, actually. Oh, I just, oh, I, oh God, Ivy. Oh, my God. <laughs> Again, I just imagine Soul Edge, or not Soul Edge, a Nightmare. I can see a fat Nightmare, yeah, with a big head. <laughs> big helmet head. <laughs> With a big high broken square. It's up? just, it's so, it's just so weird to look back on this. Just look at Astro just strutting do, his do, stuff do, 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 while do. walking on this board, and everyone's just like, "Oh, oh, I'm, am I in your way? I'm so sorry." I know it's yeah. so weird. <sighs> Excuse me. Sorry. 
We're fine. Find you have a long day. I did have a long day. Today is my brother Logan's birthday. He's 16 oh. now. Oh, oh sweet 16. Yep. Mm -hmm. And tomorrow is my other brother Aaron's birthday. And then the next day is going to be my stepbrother Daryl's birthday. How many siblings do you have in your family? Uh, yes. technically four brothers, because, again, my oldest brother is my stepbrother, and one sister. Okay. A part of me was kind of hoping you would continue off of that chain. It's like, and the day after that is his brother's cat's birthday. No, 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 no. And the no, day no, no, after no. that. Listen, yeah. actually, if you want to know one thing, we won't be having any other birthdays after the 18th until New Year's Eve, which is my dad's birthday. You couldn't just hear me, could you, woman? Now, <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't have the patience for it. I'm sorry. So yeah, while we're playing, it's all so much goodness. Fun. This is chaos. No kidding. Just, I'll be fun tomorrow. Like, imagine this being your own little vacation hall activities. Help! <laughs> bing bong bing. And bong. yeah, for this for this little little for this particular one, I decided to pick Miss Pac-Man just because. Well, I picked Pac-Man last time, and I figured why not give the missus some love. And I'm picking the other character I did not see played, and I have no idea who they are. Also, Wait. yeah. How'd you get in first place if you only got eight spheres? No, that means I think that means how many point, how many goals you got, or something. I think the whole goal of that was the, that you had to get the least amount of points points possible, just because. Well, oh, it's like golf rules, except you're playing hockey. But that don't make no sense. But then again, nothing in this Devil Dame game don't make no sense. Well, it is an Animaniac wannabe. Huh. Animaniacs yeah. have more logic than this, oddly enough. At the same time, I'm now very curious. I just now learned something. What's what? Up? Wait that a minute. Random, just random thought, because again, this game just gets very... Uh-oh, Jay's just been Bend challenged by the AI. I wonder who's going to win at his favorite game. You mean the one mini game where that actually has a pattern so easy to decipher? Yeah. Though that... unfortunately, I kind of have that little goof up there, so we might actually have a chance. Let's see. Oh shoot! You're right. He's oh, got the. God, oh yeah, shoot! He, uh, yeah, that's. This was no, this was not my shining moment. I was fooled. You were. Oh. Well, oh, well. Sorry, James. Looks like he's gonna have to throw you off the cliff. <laughs> Don't throw the misses off a cliff. That explains why she wasn't in Ghostly Adventures. Uh, it, was just a, it was just a really, it was just a really random thing I just noticed was um, random plug here. As I'm just, I was just checking my phone for a second here. Was uh, Harry Partridge? Harry was, what? Harry Partridge. You never heard of the animation Happy Harry? No. Oh, he did a lot of animations. We got to show you that later. Um, okay. Uh, he was just at, he was asking for suggestions of of uh, let's play channels who do like PS one era games with quote unquote commentary that isn't overt or trying to be funny, just chill and informative. Huh. And it just kind of got me thinking of crap. Are we doing that? Well, I was just about to say like, did they have to be PS one exclusively? No, but he just said PS one era and so on kind of thing. Okay, because I'm, I'm kind of curious as to whether our, I'm kind of curious as to whether anyone's shown him the Super Gaming Brothers yet. I think I it's think not easy to him. run on these high heels. I know they're showing it woolly and stuff, but uh, I'm surprised yeah. Tombo wasn't one of the characters in this game. Same. Oh. Uh, uh, James and I are still Wait, confused. Wait, Tombo's not, not owned by Namco though. No, he's not. Oh, oh, oh I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was. I was. Oh, go ahead. Actually, if we're going to talk about Namco superstars, I think we brought this up in the last part, but, like, again, the whole Pac family in general would have been far more fitting than just, well, Pac-Man, this Pac-Man, a whole bunch of modern-ish uh, Namco stars. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That look like they don't belong in something like this. Do, 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 do. Well, I made the joke. It kind of got drowned out, but one joke I had in mind is if you take one of the ships from Galaxia and have that be a playable character. <laughs> just imagine, like, a little ship just going around the spaces. That would be interesting. I mean, honestly, just Fish. looking back on the roster real quick, I do want to make make a mention real quick that, well, the Afro dude here, I think his name is Tiger. Like, from what I remember, I know he's supposed to be a Tekken character, but he's like one of those characters that only pops up every once in a while. And I'm convinced they only added him in the roster just because, hey, he looks like he looks like that hip disco dude that'd be totally fitting in a schlock fest like this. <laughs> Not wrong. Woohoo! Like, he so just looks like a generic disco superstar. So what was the point of destroying all that food again? 
I'm so sorry. Oh my god. What's the that? other thing I just the other thing I just now noticed was just freaking. <laughs> oh, now it's Hayachi's turn to bounce the bounce. The here up, here he goes. Here now, you go. So the, the big thing you have to be careful is that whenever you get hit by the anvil, you lose all your collected tokens at that very instant. Oh so can he do it? Can he keep all his tokens without getting hit by that anvil? He's got can three. Can he catch any of these two, tokens? Oh, oh. no. He went from having over 50 he tokens one. to one. And then he proceeded just to throw one. that monkey off a cliff. Oh. Yeah, no, I just now I just now noticed a friend of mine has been getting into reading the Team Dark comics and has already discovered the amazingness that is Team Dark the Team Dark's comics writing department. Oh, uh, he's reading the IDW issues. No, I think he's reading the uh, Archie, the the, late, the modern Archie stuff. Also, post reboot, right? Post reboot stuff like, but just just the fact that like I can just read some quotes here of, of Omegas that are just awesome. Which by the way, I'm talking over this because these mini games kind of they have a very short, uh, so they have a short. At the moment, we have a short uh, selection of mini games to pull from because this was kind of on like a very like very new save. Oh gosh, look at yeah. skip a, look at oh. Hachi. Uh, that's right, oh. James. I'm like, look at Heihachi when he runs like. <laughs> I'm an old man. I don't have time for this. Oh, jeez, that shuffle. You're an you're an old timer. Oh, geez. now you. It. Yeah, it, it's just easy. Just don't why, get. Just why does it have to be the lady that's always it? Just don't. Just yeah. Tag the. Oh crap! I'm it. I'm it. You're you're it, Hachi. No, now I'll shuffle. I'll, I'll take your soul, and then you'll be it. But yeah, no. I'm just, just I'm just reading. I'm just reading some of these quotes of Omegas like. The tiny nerdy one believes she can combat me. Logging this under hilarious. Oh, that when she was talking to Relic. Relic's adorable, by the way. One I like is oh, when I they come Relic. across. Yeah. One I like is when Omega is talking to the not Emerald that Relic oh. hangs out with. Is like, what weapons do you possess? Oh no, I fix things. After you destroy them. No, I I just fix them. And he just glares at him. <laughs> and, oh, and then at one point, oh, then at one point when uh, when he's talking to the not uh, emerald thing, and a new and an enemy just happens to appear, he just bats him away. Target acquired. I detected it first. Dibs. <laughs> just charges forward. <laughs> and the other thing I just now noticed, I'm just reading. This is the last one I'll read. Then we'll get back to this game. Was uh, they're entering a cave, and he's like, "We are on a shoot first. Ask. Qu we are on a. We are on a shoot first. Ask questions. Never policy." Rouge is like, "That's." Ask questions later. My way is more succinct. <laughs> succinct. He's hopeless. Yeah, it's yeah, like, it's... you would have blasted them. They, I cannot see. Oh, let me try to say it. It's like, you could have blasted them. That is their problem, not mine. That sounds That sounds more like a you problem. <laughs> I can just Sorry. imagine it now. I can just imagine it now. Omega's in a dark, in a dark game, and then he just he just gets bullseye by literally blasting Boom. it. Hmm. <laughs> I, actually, now I'm just thinking of I'm just thinking of that one scene from the first Despicable Me where Gru pulls out the giant weapon to knock over the balls. Omega does something like that. Knocked over. <laughs> <laughs> you destroyed the entire game. That means lifetime winner. <laughs> I get all the prizes. Just in general, like okay, just kind of throw, just kind of toss it out there because it is fun. Freaking hype and Jordy, we should like dub some Team Dark stuff because that looks because oh, yeah. I, know we, I know we did that. I know we did that Sonic Force. I know we did that one Sonic Forces issue, but like now that I act, but in that in that issue, Omega was pretty tame. Like he was still pretty, uh, he like, he was serious. more along the lines of how he usually is in the games, right? Yeah. But now that I know what he's really like in the comics, I'm like, dang. Well, I will say. Like, as far as AIDW stuff goes, he doesn't have, like, a whole lot of screen time. Like, if you want to see, uh, like, he has a little bit more in the Archie stuff. We'll probably have to do it on either Dub Matters or Jordan's channel, because right, I kind of right. want to take a break from dubbing Archie stuff for no, my that's, channel. That's fine. That's um, fine. I'd, ra I'd rather not do it on my channel, because I'm retiring from uh, Sonic Comics in general. Wow. Well, on her that's... channel, anyway. Wow, no, on cool. my channel, yeah. I don't mind doing it on Dub Matters. Wow, what what brought upon the big Sonic like purge? Bendy. No, 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 no. That's not it. I was turned Bendy. off from Sonic way before uh, that uh, happened. Oh, the, uh, the community. Yeah, the community just brought me down. But um, it's just another thing is that just there doing the Archie comics takes sure. so much time, and I don't want to go through that much effort. That's fine. Well, There's a lot. And just that like that. Oh, love, love, Plus, I said to my fans, I wouldn't be doing any more uh, Archie Thank comics you, on my James. channel. So, that matters. It is. <laughs> yeah, I'll be right back. Okay. 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 
Oh great, now you hurt his feelings. Oops. Excuse me. I'm joking, I'm joking. Just, yeah, fun stuff like Oop, that can hap hap happen when you least suspect it. But, um, actually, I guess I could, I guess it's weird there's not much else to talk about on this Whoa. very Ooh. artificial vacation here. Um, you want to know, know another game that uh, the developers of this game um, also made? Well, they make. Um, sort of in a similar fashion to this being a board game, they made another board game called Trek Super Party. Oh, oh no. I take yes. it you have experience? I've seen the commercials. They're so weird. I, you know, it's funny. I never, I don't remember actually seeing the commercials. I just remember Me neither. actually owning the game for a brief period of time and ugh. I, I've it's, only seen the box ugh. art and that alone just tells me everything I need to know. Yeah, more or less. It At least it's, weird time is, is it as weird, is it as weird or weirder than extra large? Um, hard to say really. I'd argue it's a tad more dull, honestly. Okay, you know, so... Hard, I mean, granted, I mean, oh, Jesus. Oh, boy. Ah! But, um, it's just, it's honestly funny to think that, well, that game and this were made by the same people. And it really goes to show that... If you want a successful party sort of game, don't call these schmoes. Yeah. Otherwise, you'll be sunk right in the water. Yeah. But, um... Mm -hmm. It's weird, too, because um, the, the devs themselves, uh, Bass Media, I think they're called, um, I mean, aside, beyond the party games, I know they've done some other things for Namco, like they've done... No, yeah, the big man ones, and now he's going to eat our souls. Anyway, um, oh, uh, just to get Jordy into the uh, mix real quick. Uh, so now that I'm at near at the end board, uh, we're pretty much going to the last three spaces, which are raffle um, spaces. Oh. Whoever basically instigates a little roulette, and whoever's the winner gets a redemption ticket. Thankfully, Logan got was the winner, so he gets Yay. a redemption ticket. Oh, redemption nice. tickets are what you use to uh, buy additional mini games. Store square. Let's see. What's and yeah, the store, the store square. Well, Fire apple tickets, let's see. Gamble Probably tickets. gonna get some more raffle tickets. Now, unfortunately, he's he's not gonna it's not gonna need, do much good to get more cherry tickets, so he's gonna go for the next best thing. Oranges and bananas. 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 Oh, bananas. Oh, I the other day I was the other day I was watching our old Grapple Force Reina video because that was oh, technically because yeah. that was technically the birthplace of this voice. Mm -hmm. oh, God, even though it's not even, even though it's not even really an entertaining voice, I mean, it's not even an entertaining voice. I, I it's take fun no under the right circumstances. It. I take no pride. It, it's yeah. really, it's the kind of it's the kind of voice that really like get makes its mark when it catches you completely by surprise. It does. Yeah. And actually, well, honestly, just... uh, actually, real quick, I still think the biggest highlight of, of that entire two the double series was when like we were in that one min that one section where we oh. were looking for. Um, what the dude's they base. Got the big dude's base. And it's just, it's just he finds it finds like <gasps> and looking at the biggest laughing fit. Well, because it threw because it complete I thought we were looking for like the entrance. Like, you know, the entrance to the base, not remove the statue, and there he is exactly in the same position as the statue. We've been compromised! As though as though it was as though you had just found a pillow fort as opposed oh. to an actual secret band. Yeah, it, you got it, another one. I, 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 I wait. Has, oh yeah, James. Have you, has the full game of that come out yet? Oh, it, oh, it's it, it's been out for about a year now. Uh, have you got a chance to play it? Oh yeah, I, I beat the, I beat the whole thing. Uh, what did you think of it? Assuming we're not really doing it anymore. Oh, I like. I, I thought it was an enjoyable experience. I mean, honestly, the only thing that's keeping me from oh, recording the whole thing is the fact that well, I kind of want to do a, like a fresh a fresh oh. run of the game, but mm -hmm. the game has no no save file selection of the sort. And, you know, trying to work, mem like, save, save locations on Steam is an absolute hassle and a half. So, yeah, until they a make an update for update for it that does include fa save files, or if it ever gets a Switch port or whatever, it'll be a while before I actually decide uh, to do that game for the channel. Yeah. Store square. Fair enough. And sorry, Heihachi. The plan did not work. You thought you had me by surprise. But anyway. Sorry about that. Oh, there, okay. I was... And then, and he actually decided to buy nothing from that store because he realized, oh wait, I own a company. Why do I need to buy buy any of this shit? Meanwhile, yeah. Astroth is like, what do I need these for? Will these help with killing? Are they souls? Can I kill people with these tokens? And then get <laughs> I souls? Mean, I, te technically, you technically Astroth, you can kill with met with um, blunt objects. Actually, hold on. I think a better joke would have been, Ooh. is arm is money a weapon? 
No, Astaroth, money is not a weapon. <laughs> I will make it a weapon. To be fair, Jordy, you, you should see the, the Gombody Goimon games. They actually do make it a point to make Banana. money an actual weapon. <laughs> oh, and then, oh, and what you're seeing here, Jordy, is that when you reach these squares... Oh, Jeff's already to, explained Wow, it. You, oh. you went straight... You, went, you, you pretty much went full turkey there. Woo! Which, Whoa. oh yeah, I don't, know, which I don't know if we've explained this, but the big sucky part about this game is that even if you're playing with friends, let's say James earns two tickets and I earn four tickets... Uh -huh. Neither of us can buy a game that has five tickets, and I have no way of sharing my tickets with him. So we oh. just get to sit there and stare at the screen and wonder, why does this party game punish you for playing in a party? Because we didn't think you people actually had friends. The plan is ruined. And then what? And now we have the mini game that proves that these characters have lungs of iron. <laughs> iron lungs. But uh, of all, oh, oh god, I just so realized the joke I could have made, and I'm stuck right lung. there. It itches. So, sorry, Miss Pac-Man, I'm not gonna make you stoop that low. I love how they're, I love how they're showing <laughs> everybody's return square. I love how they're showing oh. every, I love how they're showing everybody's turns. Even the, oh, geez, we already know who's gonna win. Spoilers: yep. it's the same person every freaking time because I suck yeah. at this game. Because that's the rule of James Man's <laughs> channel. When it's a multiplayer no, game, he always I, has to win. I've creamed him sometimes in other games. This one, yeah. though, I suck at. It has, is, yeah. It's a party Dude. game. It's one of those cases where you shouldn't expect to win or lose. It's just, it's a luck of the draw most of the time. Well, I don't like this party. No one even brought pizza. We have a little bit of time left. Jordy, did you catch anything that was shown at the Game Awards? Uh, very little. Not a whole, whole lot, honestly. I, I did show her the Untitled Beaker game a bit. Oh, that so I did see. Yeah, that was, that was cute. Fun. That was really nice. I wonder if those. So were, I wonder if those were the actual like Muppet actors there. They are. Yep. Nice. Just yeah. Other than that, there wasn't really like too much that really like caught you. If you were if you were a Magic the Gathering fan, then you would be like exploding all over this because they took up oh, roughly my God. a third of the Devil Dance show. Okay, let me let me tell you something. I used to be part of Magic the Gathering back when I was dating Peter. Really? Huh? I yeah, know my he got me into it. I know my dad's super into it and still plays the uh, computer game, like the one that's like, you know, lets you play Magic the Gathering electronically, but... Oh yeah, yeah I like, like that one. It looks like they're making a lot of expansions, which... I don't know, I'm just throwing this out there right now. <laughs> I think my highlight for the corniest looking commercial was the one where it looked like... It was like... A, where the one, it looked like a... It looked like a Lord of the Rings battle, but filmed through a GoPro. Yes. Oh, I love that, where you just see the still heads and all the bodies. It's, that was hilarious. It was so... I, and, and the best part is, is I don't think the producers or the marketing team thought it was going to be hilarious. Oh, I already own it. No, I, 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 I feel like... Oh, how am I trying to say? They 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 knew what they were doing with that footage, because there's no way anyone would willingly do that. Because that was hilarious. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that's it. All right, we've now completed two of the three available boards. Yep, and uh, the next and the uh, for the finale of our Pac-Man Fever mini commentary, we're literally going where no man is willing to go further than you, than you. <laughs> space is the is the end of the joke. Yep. Till next time, guys. Spice. Bye. Sorry, Jordan. There's a chance he might not join us. You'll have to stay on Earth, where no pack has ever walked before. <laughs>